a bit of a, a homecoming for you this weekend because Scunthorpe is where it all started. Yeah, back to back to where it all began uh, in a way a few good few years ago now. Um, moving up there when I was 15 years old, straight from school. Um, obviously thankful for uh, them for giving me my chance really. Uh, and I didn't play a great deal of games and I was there probably too long, um, I could say, because I, I, I really should have dropped out if I had the opportunity um, a couple of years before, um, but no, it's, it's how it's planned out and uh, back I'll go this weekend. Yeah, when it comes to that moment where you've been at a club for a long period of time and you decide you want to leave, you say you could have made the decision earlier, but even so, it must be a, a difficult moment. Yeah, it, it is hard, especially when I, when I was there um, from a from a YT days, the the club was flying um, under Nigel Atkins, doing doing brilliant things. Um, they were in the championship. They just got promoted to the championship. I joined. Unfortunately, they got relegated that year, but bounced straight back up um, with a couple of trips to Wembley and and that, which was which was nice to go to. I know I was only a youth team player, but it was nice to go and. Uh, and, and be involved and, and watch the boys and then um, get my chance with, with turning pro a year later. So, Do you think if things had fallen differently you could have broken straight in at Scunthorpe or do you think it was always meant to be that you'd work your career around? Um, it, like I just said, it, it was difficult because the players that I was competing with at, at a young age of 18 years old, um, I was competing with, with Gary Hooper and, and, and Paul Hayes and, and people of that type that have gone on to have fantastic careers um, in the game and, and, and done a lot in the game so as a young lad I'm I'm really there um, as a backup trying to learn from them and um, dropping down the leagues is is probably the best decision I ever I ever I ever made it was it was a decision that obviously wasn't made lightly because I they, they uh, offered me another contract and I'm thankful for the for the chairman and Russ Wilcox for letting me go on a free um, even though I was still in that Bosman rule, sort of, sort, sort of, whatever you call it, um, but they, they they agreed to let me go on a free to Ebbsfleet, and um, yeah, no, I'm thankful that they did that because obviously it's worked out good for me now. Yeah, and it really was a case of you never really looked back. You hit the ground running, and you just kept going, and you've now got all the way back up to to League One with the Posh. Yeah, no, that, that I think that's that's what I needed really to to kickstart me and give me a kick up the backside really to. To say, look, you are you are capable of scoring goals, and it's, it's, it was just happened that um, I, I didn't I didn't really find the net in a in a Scunthorpe shirt in the small amount of games that I played. So it was about going going dropping down the league, scoring a lot of goals, and trying to rebuild my career. And, and Stephen has snapped me up from Edgefield two years later, and two years later I'm in a posh shirt. So. Yeah, and in terms of the past few weeks, you've been struggling a little bit with the virus, but you're you're a okay again now. Yeah, no, I'm 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 all good. Um, we, we pick up little things throughout the season, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm all good now. I'm, I'm raring to go. Obviously, another goal on Tuesday night, and I'm, I'm for, unfortunate penalty miss in the shootout. And the keeper's pulled off a, a very good save, but no, I, I don't let anything get me down. It's um, I'm pleased that I scored in, in open play in normal time and, and ready to hit the ground running again. Yeah, it must have been great to get that goal because I guess being a striker, and I know what you guys are like after Saturday where you had a couple of decent chances and it didn't go in, I guess that had probably been niggling a little bit. Yeah, it niggles a little bit. I'm not sort of, I'm not the sort that will that will linger on their missed chances as, as long as I'm getting in the positions to, to get those chances. If you're not in the positions and you're not getting any chances again, that's when you need to start worrying. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, I, I was pleased with uh, picking up a goal on Tuesday night. Obviously, a dis disappointing result. Uh, both Tuesday with the, the loss and penalties and then Saturday so it's about about time we need to bounce back and, and show the fans what we're all about again. Yeah and all in all you must be delighted with your start to the season not only the goals but with both Jason and Ivan whoever you're playing up top with it it seems like there's a, a really good understanding there. Yeah we've all we're all we're all pushing each other and that's what the manager wants that's why the manager brought the three of us in because we're all pushing each other um, we're all three different completely different types of players um, we all work well together, um, and, and most importantly, we're all finding the back of the net, um, which which is the main thing. And um, you know that you can't afford to have a bad game because one or two games without a goal or a bad performance, then then one of us is snapping at each other's heels, and 
um, that's what makes players better and that's what the gaffer wants.